Love Your Life. Love Your Life, a show like no other, one that aims to inspire you to live a life you love. Choosing to be positive and having a grateful attitude is going to determine how you're going to live your life. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love your day. Love your day. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Prepared and presented by Sayida Maya Al Sayed. Love your life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you all. Welcome to yet another episode of Love Your Life. This, I believe, is my seventh episode. I was not on yesterday, but I'm on today. Alhamdulillah, and I'm so grateful to be here. Just a reminder that this is a live show. So if you're listening to me right now, you are able to join me on the discussion today, which is how to sustain happiness. And you can do so by calling 2460 20 58 24 60 20 58 although this show is live it is repeated i believe at 10 minutes after midnight on on arman fm and if for any reason i hope you find a reason to want to listen to me again or to the past episodes of love your life you can do so by um tuning into my youtube channel which is the soist and this brings me to introduce you a bit about myself for those who are tuning in for the first time. This is Maya Al Saeed. I'm a life coach at Whispers of Serenity, and I'm also known as the Soist on social media. So today's topic, as I said earlier, is um, how to sustain happiness. Now, if you've been with me from the beginning of Ramadan, you will remember that the first episode I talked about was definition of happiness. And we discussed what is happiness, what makes you happy, why one would choose to be happy. And then we talked about how one can be happy. Today, we're going to talk about how to sustain that happiness. And I can simply end this whole uh, episode by saying smile, and that's it. (laughs) But we know that it is more than that. Although smiling is a beautiful thing and that we should do more often, I feel a lot of people are not smiling enough. But uh, let us just talk about it. Happiness can't be bought. Although some people think that if they drive the latest car or have the latest gadget or the, you know, the last handbag to hit the, the fashion show, that this means that they're happy. And I remember reading a quote online. It says, if uh, those who say they can't buy happiness don't know where, <laughs> where to shop. And I thought, wow, really? Will somebody just be so materialistic that they're tying their happiness with things? And that to me brought me sadness. I thought, how can one think that having just a handbag, I have a handbag right here in front of me. I'm looking at it. I'm saying, okay, when I bought you, I felt okay, happy. But now you're just a handbag. So we have to really talk about this and uh, I really hope that people listening who do have this realize that as much as things bring you happiness these happiness are short-lived so to me I reiterate that happiness can't be bought Um, happiness isn't something you beg for either I think it's something you create yourself because as you know during the show I always say you always have a choice I believe We all deserve to be happy at some point in our lives. I think, sadly, there are some people who don't even know what it means to be happy. Then again, I say it is your choice to find out um, how you can be happy. At the end of the day, this is your life. Thing is, happiness doesn't last forever. And you know what? It isn't meant to because, subhanAllah, nothing in life does. Not even life itself. So if we're going to focus on being happy and this is what I'm trying to um, promote in Love Your Life. I'm not saying that you're going to be happy every day for the rest of your life but there are, life takes us on, on waves and sometimes we go through bad things, sometimes we go through good things but we the default yani, uh, thing that we choose to be is happy is content, is grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this life. May I just remind you that this is a live uh, show on Arman FM and you're more than welcome to call me on um, 24 60 20 58 
24, 60, 20, 58. My man Frank here will gladly transfer the calls to me just to remind you just a reminder, sorry, to only call me when it is safe to do so. I don't want you risking your life or the life of others around you. So back to the topic of how to sustain happiness. Happiness, I think you would agree, are moments that we experience in our life. Some are short and some are long, meaning some are short lived that you only experience just you know, a moment of it, like, I don't know, a minute or two, and then it's gone. And some can stay on for days because you tend to choose to go back to that same memory that uh, made you happy and you can sustain it for a couple of days. Do you believe we have a, do you believe uh, your actions have a choice? Um, that y whatever you do, you are actually choosing on how you want to live your life. Let me know your thoughts and you can do so by calling 24, 60, 20, 58, 24, 60, 20, 58. So, okay, I'm talking about happiness and everything else. How can we sustain this feeling of happiness? Because let's be honest, who doesn't want to be happy? And who doesn't want this feeling to last as much as possible? Because before you know it, you're hit with shocking news and then you seem to think that this is all your life is and you forget that, that moment of content, of being grateful. It's really, ha it's really simple though. Choose happiness. Choose to be positive. Choose to live a life of happiness. At the end of the day, the choice is always yours. One of the ways you can sustain happiness is by living the moment, by living the now, not thinking much of the past or worrying much about the future. Living this moment, like I am now living this moment, alhamdulillah. I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to be on the radio. I am happy. Today, alhamdulillah, I am happy because I'm grateful for the life that I have, grateful for the opportunities and the people in my life. So enjoy the present. And I will be having um, a full episode on living the moment, inshallah, in episode 18. Uh, which I believe will be the I don't know, 20th of June or something like that. But I'll remind you, inshallah, um, a day before that on what is, what's coming. And with that, we shall take a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Join Oman Radio's big time giveaway this Ramadan and win a Lexus GS350 on the last day. It's so easy to join. Just send SMS with your full name to 90465 and be the lucky one to bring home a brand new Lexus GS350. The more you send, the more chances of winning. Oman Radio's big time giveaway this Ramadan. Join now. Ramadan Mubarak. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. A show like no other. One that aims to inspire you to live a life you love. Choosing to be positive and having a grateful attitude is going to determine how you're going to live your life. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love your day. Love your day. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Prepared and presented by Sayyida Maya Al Sayyid. Love your life. Welcome back to your nation station. This is Maya Al Sayyid with your show Love Your Life, a show that hopefully will make you think and realize that you have so much to be grateful for, but it is up to you to love your life and live it the way you want to live it. So today we're talking about how to sustain happiness and I'd like to remind you that this is a live show and you're more than welcome to join me by calling 24 60 20 58 
2460 2058 and if you've been tuned in um you know that i i said that any episodes that you have missed that you're able to catch up on my youtube channel the soist so recap of what you missed earlier because this show is starts at 2 30 ends at 3 30 and is repeated at 10 minutes after midnight every day so we talked about happiness is something we all want um as always i always say it is our choice to to choose happiness to choose to be positive and now i'd like to talk to you about the different types of happiness um i mentioned an example earlier that some would say that their happiness is materialistic that it's short-lived that when uh it depends on circumstances when they buy something when for example they won something it can last um only a very short moment and that moment depends on you um let's take the example of uh winning i don't know a car um the moment when somebody says oh you've won a car and you think wow i want a car alhamdulillah and i'm so happy and you know the whole day whatever anyone tells you you will not let it bring you down because guess what you want a car man nobody else want a car but you so you're thinking you're the luckiest person and everything and then say after what five months down the line you're in this car that you won are you as happy as you were the first day that you got it no you're probably very grateful but that happiness that feeling of i don't know euphoria or whatever is no longer there and so this is where things or happiness is very short-lived you're happy for the moment and maybe a couple of days after that but looking ahead at your life in the future you're not that happy and yes i know people are thinking what may you want expect us to be happy like that every day no but we have to be able to know that this is a feeling of happiness and refer to it sometimes when things don't go so well so the other type of happiness is the sustainable um happiness is when you do something when you choose to do something now um a positive thing to your life that you do every day and by doing that every day you sustain that happiness not only will it um how can i say this not only will it benefit you now and bring that sense of happiness but also five months one year down the line you will reap as well the benefits and you'll be happy for having done um made that positive change in your life let me just take this moment to remind you that in our religion we are rewarded for simply smiling subhanallah so why not take this beautiful example about spreading happiness even if it is only by a smile and it is one of the ways i remember suggesting in episode one uh, of def- define your happiness or definition of happiness and i went through a list of things and this was like my favorite because this is the one i try to do the most because alhamdulillah i tend to be a positive person walillahi alhamd uh, another thing is because one way to be happy is to to make people happy subhanallah and we started off with a smile but then it can go um, a bit deeper than that just a reminder that this is a live show you are more than welcome to call me and let me know your thoughts on today's topic which is how to sustain happiness by calling 24 60 20 58 24 60 20 58 i'll just go back to the point where i talked about being sustainable um having the sustainable happiness which is affected by the activity i forgot that i didn't uh, give you an example of what i meant um let me talk to you about a personal experience of working out um when i went through my divorce um of course it's something tragic and the first thing i decided to do was join the gym <laughs> not that i was overweight or needed to work out no i just wanted um to do something positive in my my life um and i decided to take care of my body um not only physically but also mentally because we know how um working out regularly can um is a great stress reliever and just have this happy feeling about you subhanallah so i decided to do that and to this day it is something i still do when i reflect on the decision to start working out it makes me happy to see the results that i have achieved through that decision to this day subhanallah still brings me happiness so this is a form of sustainable activity of happiness 
So I hope that that is clear. So I've talked about the difference of um, the short-lived happiness, which depends on circumstances, and the sustainable happiness, which depends on an activity, a choice that you do because, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, <laughs> it all depends on you. So happiness is a choice. The actions, the thoughts that you do in your daily life impacts how you feel. And one thing I came to learn is, oh, I came to learn, I also realized um, in my life that the relationships that you have in your life matter. Um, your deepest, subhanAllah, most richest, most profound happiness in life, you know what, will come, personally will come from faith, from my iman, uh, my religion, mm, knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there, that, you know, just my religion to me is a source of happiness. But also, um, the second thing would be my relationships, the people that um, I love, my family, my friends, the people I meet or interact with, um, whether I meet them on the, on the streets or on social media, subhanAllah. Um, I think those relationships, even though they're very, I wouldn't say superficial, but they're very, um, well, I don't know what the word would be. They're very... You know, it's just very new, but yet it still brings me amount of happiness because I am happy when I know that I'm making a difference. Now, if for somebody, say, that I've just met, the least I could have done is treated them with respect, I smiled, um, so there I got my reward and therefore I feel happy. And you have to realize the way you treat people leaves a lasting impression. And even if they've met you once, if somebody refers to them, say, two years down the line refers to this to you for example they will remember their memory will scroll through and remember that moment when you met them so to them it's either or oh, she was really nice or oh I didn't like her she was moody or she treated me very badly there is always that moment so you have to want to leave a lasting impression and in in time Subhanallah, when somebody says, oh, yeah, I remember her, even if it's not the person that met you, if somebody else says, yes, uh, they remembered you and they remembered how lovely you were. Now, again, this is a form of sustainable happiness because you did something then you chose to be positive and left a lasting impression, which five years, 10 years down the line comes back to you and makes you happy because of what you've done. Subhanallah. Just a reminder that this is a live show and I'd love to hear from you. And you can do so by calling 2460. 2058 24 60 2058 just a reminder i'm here until 3 30 if you happen to hear this again at midnight this is the repeat of the the show that i'm doing now because i understand some people are calling at midnight and um at midnight i'm fast asleep <laughs> so we're discussing how to sustain happiness and Knowing that I'm making a difference, subhanAllah, even by being here today, another form of sustainable happiness. This show, inshallah, hopefully will will inspire you, um, will bring you a smile, if nothing more than that. And within the course of the years, it'll always be there. It'll be on my YouTube channel and somebody somewhere might be making, might be listening and I'll be hopefully making a positive difference. And we have a caller. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Good, good. So tell me, uh, what are your thoughts on the topic today? Uh, very simple thing. Whenever you uh, answer the phone, yes, answer it with a smile on your face, <laughs> and the person uh, on the other side will be able to see it. Subhanallah. So did you feel my smile? Definitely. <laughs> I can still see Thank your you. smiling face. Thank you so much. Now I'm laughing. So you managed to make me smile to make me laugh. Jazakallah khair. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, and uh, my name is uh, fortunately Happy itself. What is it? Okay, can you say that again? Your name is? Happy. Happy. Okay. So yes, eight? my nickname is Happy. Oh, your nickname is Happy. That's good to know. I'd love I'm that a, nickname too. My actual name is Vipin. V-I-P-I-N. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think I'll be able to say it without making, you know, making a mistake. So I'll just call you Mr. Happy. Yes, thank you. So nice of you. You're God bless welcome. you all. Same to you. Thank you so much for your call. Thank you. Bye. Now you see what Mr. Happy did. He chose 
to call in today to call me and make me not only happy, subhanAllah, but also make me laugh. So we all have a choice. Thank you so much, Mr. Happy, for making me happy today. So before we go on to the break, just one thing I want to say is we all have a choice. It's something I think if I could say, if there's one thing that you could take from today and every day um, from doing my show is you always have a choice. And I look forward to hearing more of you um, joining the show right after this break. Love your life. Ramadan offer from Maghrabi Hospital. Get 50 persons count. Book your appointment now. Contact us 909-54909. Conditions apply. Initialize sequence now. Join Oman Radio's big time giveaway this Ramadan and win a Lexus GS350 on the last day. It's so easy to join. Just send SMS with your full name to 90465 and be the lucky one to bring home a brand new Lexus GS350. The more you send, the more chances of winning. Oman Radio's big time giveaway this Ramadan. Join now. Ramadan Mubarak. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Get ready to be inspired this Ramadan, a show like no other, one that aims to inspire you to live a life you love. Love your life. Love your life daily from 2 30 to 3 30 p.m. and will be repeated at 12 midnight. Love your life. With our Sayyidah Maya Al Sayyid. On your nation station, Oman FM. Are you ready to love your life? Welcome back to your nation station. This is Maya Al Said, also known as the Soist on Love Your Life. Today we're discussing how to sustain happiness. We've talked about the different types of happiness. Actually, I found out there were only two a short lived one and a sustainable one. And I'm focusing more on the sustainable one because that is what will, inshallah, impact your life positively. Just a reminder that this is a live show and you're more than welcome to call me. Um, and let me know your thoughts on this topic by calling 24 60 20 58. 24 60 20 58. This is a live show. I am here with you right up until 3 30, inshallah. And the program will be, not the program, the episode <laughs> will be repeated at 10 past midnight, inshallah. So we were talking about sustainable happiness and uh, the things that you can do. But also, I want to um, highlight the fact that in Islam, subhanAllah, we are required to keep in touch with family. Uh, just referring back to how relationships matter. And it's called Salat Qaraba. So, you know, we to keep in touch with family, especially now during this holy month, we are always, uh, or we should always be uh, close to our families. And um, we, should, we are also rewarded for smiling to strangers. And we are rewarded for sharing knowledge. So all of these, subhanAllah, um, things that we're rewarded for, if you notice, they all affect people. There's Salat Qaraba, which is family, smiling to strangers, which is, again, these are strangers, uh, people you don't really know. And again, uh, sharing knowledge. You're sharing knowledge with people. It could be family, it could be friends, but still it involves people. And there's another point I just want to um, remind you is to acknowledge someone. Um, let them know they matter. And I talked more about this in my third episode called You Matter. It is the changes that you do in your life that reflect on how you feel. As always, the choice is yours. Just a reminder that you're more than welcome to call me on um, and participate in the show by calling 24 60 20 58. 24 60 20 58. We're discussing how to attain happiness and please only call me when it is safe to do so. 
as much as I want to hear from you and want you to participate in the program, please do so only when it is safe, um, not only for you, but for those around you. So talking about sustainable happiness, things that I think we have a caller. <clears throat> oh, caller, Frank? No. All right. So things that we do that will give us not only a happy feeling as of now, but as we do it, um, will also affect us in the wrong run. Wrong, oh, I can't, uh, tongue twister, <laughs> long run. So, uh, as I mentioned, the example of uh, me working out, how I chose to work out, I think, um, or to take it seriously. Uh, five years from now and to this day, it's part of my lifestyle and uh, I'm happier for having done it. And subhanAllah, I reap the benefits physically and mentally as well. We have to as well, uh, I also talked about how appreciating and giving time and helping others can have such a positive impact, uh, not to mention uh, be rewarded for it because our beautiful religion. Another thing I want to talk about is, you know, when you do things in your life, you have to get your own approval. I know this might sound like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? May I get your own approval? I mean, you matter. You matter to you. Remember, yes, others matter, but you matter to yourself. The voice in you, what you tell yourself, you matter. The things you do, as I just said, impacts your life. So you have to not take your permission, but you have to be okay with whatever you decide to do in your life. So one thing that I would uh, stress on is stop doing things that make you unhappy. If you want to sustain happiness, if you want to do something that uh, brings you happiness, um, stop doing things that make you unhappy. Just eliminate them from your life. Why are you still doing it? Why are you allowing it to bring you down? So, and another thing is, which I find many people don't do enough of, is learn how to say no. I can see Frank nodding. So yeah, you really have to learn how to say no. As difficult as it is, there's a way to say it. Um, and I actually put a blog post on this on my blog, the sewist.me. So if you want to know more about it, just um, go to my blog and hopefully you'll find the uh, post on how to say no. Just a reminder that this is a live show. You're more than welcome to call me on 24 60 20 I love when I do this and somebody calls me. So here that we have a call. Salam alaikum. Dr. Mukhtar, how are you? I am good. How are you, Sister uh, Maya? Alhamdulillah, I am well. The show is going very well, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much. So what yeah. is your contribution for today? Yeah, I do have a contribution, but before that I would like to mention that I recently followed you on social media and I, I was really impressed uh, the contents you have on YouTube. Uh -huh. Yesterday I, I was listening to your videos and they were really useful videos. Alhamdulillah, I think you also left a comment and uh, yeah, I think I responded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, is this the same? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a confession actually. <laughs> Jazakallah khair. Thank you for being honest. Yeah, I think it's good to be honest. There's also a secret to stay happy, I guess. That's very true. Yeah, to be truthful to yourself and to others. You're way ahead of me, Dr. Mukhtar. If you had listened on, inshallah, the, before the end of the show, that's one of the topics that I'll be ending with. <laughs> how you know you should listen to yourself and be truthful. And because when you do that, and that is something I personally have gone through, listening to myself, knowing who I am, and yeah. showing the world who I am has brought me so much happiness, alhamdulillah. Yeah. But and I hope you will upload further videos because you are a life coach and your videos will definitely help us. Inshallah, I will. Yeah, and I think uh, regarding today's topic, I think the problem lies where that we are not able to sustain happiness is that uh, as a human being, we always try to wait for bigger happinesses and we don't celebrate small moments of happiness. True. And uh, when we are in studies, we, we think that when we'll get job, we'll be happy. Mm -hmm. After getting job, we think after getting married, mm -hmm. we'll get happy. Mm -hmm. After getting married, we think having children. I mean, the, this thing, this keeps on going. Yes. And we never really stay happy because we are waiting for bigger moments and we are not being thankful to the things we have. Subhanallah. So true. Yeah. So I, I guess uh, being thankful what you have, not comparing your things to other things mm -hmm. and what your neighbors have, what your colleagues have. Don't compare your things, your blessings. Just yes. be thankful that what you have. That's 
well put mashallah i think one day i should have you as a guest with me because you we seem to be on the same line and the way you bring messages is just like another way of showing gratefulness of being happy so thank you so much yeah that will be great and it will be honor if you will invite me jazakallah khair thank you so much dr mukhtar thank you very much okay. take care ma salam allah yasalmik thank you so much see this is what i mean when people call in and share with me um you just give it another light i'm looking at it from one angle but you're listening in and you can think of another way to to communicate this message just as dr mukhtar did and thank you so much dr mukhtar i always value your contributions not only on this show but mashallah you seem to be a, a listener of aman fm which we totally appreciate because i hear you on reflections with uh, brother hatem so thank you so much and keep them coming so before the call Okay, having said that, just a reminder that you can call me just as Dr. Mukhtar did and Mr. Happy. You can call me on 2460-2058, 2460-2058. This is a live show. We have right up until 3.30, inshallah. And then the show will be repeated at 10 past midnight tonight, inshallah. So before the call, I was talking about how it is important to get your approval, that you are okay with whatever it is that you want to do in your life. So we said, uh, stop doing things that make you unhappy. Just stay away. Just say, no, thanks. I don't want you anymore because I'm choosing to be happy. And then I talked about um, learn how to say no because sometimes, not sometimes, most of the time we can't really do everything that we want to do, even if it is people asking us. However, I'm going to put an emphasis that when it is a family member, when it is a friend, actually when it is anyone, you have to want to help. But um, sometimes you just have a lot going on. And if you end up helping them, you're just you're just carrying on too much. So you have to learn how to say no. And there are ways uh, to say no. You can look it up um, online. You can also go to my blog where I talked about it called uh, my blog is the And so as I was saying, <clears throat> if you end up saying no or if you end up doing it as difficult as it may be, what's the point of doing something? that you really don't want to do. I don't even think, subhanAllah, that if you don't do it truthfully with um, with honesty, you know, you really want to help, you're just going there, oh, she called me, I really have to go, I really don't want to do this. Then what's the point? Why are you doing something you don't want to do? So I I think you should tend to ask yourself, first of all, do you approve of it? You know, like children, when they want to do something, like, mama, can I, can I do this now? <laughs> You you have to kind of ask yourself, but instead of saying, should I do this? Ask yourself, do I approve of me doing this? Do I really want to do this? Because it takes time, it takes energy. You know, are you okay with doing whatever it is, even taking a call, even going to meet somebody? It, you know, you have to, excuse me, you have to go. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> you have to go deeper and find out what value is it when you do it um there's a meeting okay the uh, do i really want to go to this meeting what are the topics of discussion am i catching up with an old friend then by all means you know of course you'd want to do that but if it's a meeting that you're really not sure of where it's heading get more information ask um do i want to do this and we're all talking about ways to have this sustainable happiness and you're more than welcome to call me on 24 60 20 58 24 60 20 58 because um this is your show this is called love your life your contribution make this show unique give me another or give the listeners another insight to it so please call me i'd love to hear from you and there we go again i love this <laughs> I, th- I can see frank picking up uh, the phone and it's uh, oh it's not okay see but still i was happy <laughs> and there's frank laughing at me So one of the things that um, Dr. Mukhtar um, mentioned is that we have to be true uh, to yourself. In order to be the best version of you, in order to be happy, in order to have the sustainable happiness, you have to know who you are. Um, You have to be okay with this person, this man in the mirror a woman in the mirror you have to be okay with who she is you have to be grateful for all the things that you have done you're good and you're bad because you wouldn't be the person you are today 
if you didn't go through whatever it is you went through. Either they were positive or they were negative because it, it, it equaled to you. So you have to be okay with telling the world who you are, what you're about, not be shamed or afraid because that robs you from your happiness. I always refer to my divorce, not because I'm happy to be divorced, of course not, but it's part of who I am. And I remember many people like, no, Maya, why are you saying this? And how can you say this on social media? And now I'm on the radio saying it. How can you say this? Because it's nothing to be ashamed of. And um, it doesn't define who I am. It is past of, part of my past. And now this is the present. And inshallah, we have the future. So why am I going to let something in the past affect me today? Okay, it's a relationship, a beautiful relationship. I always say this. It's a beautiful relationship that ended. But, but that ended, not me. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I still have lots to give, lots to do. I have to appreciate the life that I have. Why am I going to let something in the past stop me from living my life today? So I really hope this gives you a sense of thinking there's nothing to be ashamed of. And you know what? We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Mistakes are there to teach us not to deprive us from living our life. And I, I really hope that, you know, me being raw with you, letting you in on things that are very personal. But I believe if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I wouldn't be on the radio today sharing or doing what I am doing if I hadn't gone through everything that I've gone through, good or bad. So that's something to um, remember. I'll just take a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oman is a country full of treasures, from its people to its history, beaches to its mountains, deserts to its wadis. Show off your knowledge of this great country and win cash prices with Talal this Ramadan on weeknights and Hafid every weekend from 10 p.m. to midnight. You can be a winner on Treasure Wadi. Treasure Wadi. Now, let the party begin. Win cash prices and surprises here on the Nation Station. Join us and our Ramadan chef every day from 3.30 to 4 p.m. during the holy month of Ramadan and experience flavors from around the world. Enjoy different flavors from around the world. Exciting. Yummy. An edgy rainbow. Ramadan recipes. Keep your pens and papers ready. We take you around the world with different mouth-watering dishes. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely. Sauce. Have a little dessert at the end too because you get to learn the recipes of every every dish that's been set up. So all of that combined, uh, there you go. With me, June Yogesh, assisted by Huda Sultan Al-Zakwani. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Get ready to be inspired this Ramadan, a show like no other, one that aims to inspire you to live a life you love. Love your life. Love your life daily from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. And will be repeated at 12 midnight. Love your life. With our Sayyidah Maya al Sayyid. On your nation station, Oman FM. Are you ready to love your life? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You've just joined in Love Your Life on Your Nation Station, Oman FM. This is your host, Maya Al Saeed. Today, we're talking about how to sustain happiness. Just a reminder, if you've just tuned in, this is a live show and you're more than welcome to join in on the discussion. Let me know what your thoughts are by calling 2460 2058. 2460 2058. I am here with you right up until 3.30, inshallah, and the show will be repeated after midnight, 10 minutes after midnight, I believe. And also, if you happen to miss the show, you are more than welcome 
to um, follow me on uh, my YouTube channel and you will see inshallah all the episodes are there. So today's topic, how to sustain happiness. I think the most important thing I learned today is that um, happiness is short-lived and there's a sustainable, sustainable one. And we have to try our best to ensure that we get the sustainable one, to do positive things or positive changes in our life that will uh, not only affect us now, but also within five, ten years time. Because we did that positive change, it's, it continues to be positive throughout our lives, inshallah. And I stopped on, before the break, I talked about how it is essential to be true to yourself, to be okay with who you are, the person you are, how you think, everything that happened to you in your life as a result of, is a result of who you have become today. And the beauty of this is to, to learn how to express yourself, your views, um, about anything to anyone without fear, without being rude or offensive or blaming that person. Communicate truthfully is part of being who you are and showing the world what you're all about. Ask for what you want. That I think is very... Um, okay, we have a caller. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. So please tell me your name. Oh, we lost you. Please call again. Oh, we have another caller. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you, brother? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. So what are your thoughts on uh, how to sustain happiness? I was just listening to your show and it was so, so uplifting that I had to call you. Thank you so much. I had to say thank you because there are lots of people in need of words like this. Alhamdulillah. And uh, I just wanted to say, as you were saying, you know, you almost took it away from me. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody should try to be happy with what they have. Mm -hmm. And they shouldn't aspire to, you know, be like somebody else. Yes. Whom they think is better than them. True. And we always think um, what is... I mean, you, you, uh, there are lots of people wasting themselves thinking it would be so nice if, it, if I could be like somebody else. Yes. The best thing to do is uh, to be yourself. To be happy with yourself and God has created you the way you are. True. Because uh, it's for a reason. True. And everyone, um, and we are all in unique. The end, in the end, you'll always find happiness with that. True. You have to be comfortable with yourself. And as you said, you know, don't aspire to be like somebody else because you are a, an original. Why do you want to be a copy of somebody else when you're there? You're the original exactly. thing. You have unique ideas, your personality. Everything about you is unique. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And whatever has to be yours will eventually be yours. True, you just so, have to have faith. And I just want to say thank you because your message is very uplifting. I am personally a person who loves my life, so I just wanted to tune in. Thank you so much for your contribution. You made my day. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're most welcome. And we have another caller. Salam alaikum. Oh, we don't have another caller. Okay. Wa alaikum salam, maya. So... I'm loving all your contributions. You're giving me so much positive vibes, so much energy. And I'm, I'm lost for words, which is very rare for me. If you know me, you know I have a lot to say. <laughs> and we have another caller. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother, how are you? Uh, fine, thanks. And you? Alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm well, alhamdulillah. I'm my name is Fazal. I'm calling you from Iran. From I really like your program. Very motivative. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your call all the way from Iran. So tell me, yes. what are your thoughts? I want to um, add to, as you said, uh, to be, have, have a sustainable happiness. I think uh, it's important to what kind of happiness you choose in your life. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there is some uh, short-term happiness or long-term happiness. I think um, uh, go, go astride in a way that God uh, wants us to go astride uh, that way, mm -hmm. uh, bring us the long-term happiness to us. But uh, kind of some kind of short happiness is uh, it's dangerous to our life. Um, I think it's more important to, uh, for people to choose the right um, happiness, right kind of happiness. To be uh, to have a sustainable happiness for uh, all of their lives, I think. 
True. I think it would <clears throat> it would differ from person to person as to what would be a sustainable happiness. But you're absolutely right. Focusing on sustainable happiness as opposed to the short lived happiness, because as we said, short lived is just living the moment now. And, you know, whatever happens to you, it's um, it's a circumstance, but it might not necessarily yeah. bring you happiness, you know, for the days to come. Yeah, yes, I think so. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, thank you for your uh, good program. Thank you very much for your call. Much appreciated. We have another caller? When you do that, Frank, I think you have a, you were saying I have another caller. No problem. We we get it now. <laughs> okay, so um, I believe we all deserve to live a happy life. Um, and you have the choice to make it happen. Here, I just go through some of the things that... Um, you should do or shouldn't do um, to have that that happiness that we're talking about. One as uh, okay. Before I do that, I'll get uh, I'll take this call. Salam alaikum. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Please introduce yourself. I keep forgetting to ask people to introduce themselves. So please introduce yeah, yourself. This is Ashraf. Ashraf. I'm and from Salama. Ashraf. Thank you so much for your call from Salala. So let me know what are your thoughts on today's topic. Yeah, you, you you really made my day by choosing that uh, that great topic. Happiness is not a stop. I believe that it's a journey. It is. So some people think that uh, once they achieve their success, once uh, they graduated, once they get uh, some money, some some uh, kind of um, success in their life, they thought they will be happy. I think not. Mm. Not like that. Mm-hmm. So uh, what would you say to these people? Journey. So happiness when you is meet, a journey. When you meet your friends, it's it's in the journey of happiness. Yes. When you when you get married, it's in the journey itself. True. When you get uh, graduated, it's also in the journey itself. Mm-hmm. So happiness is a journey, not a stop. That's what I believe. These moments when I'm talking to you is in the journey itself. I hope in the journey of happiness as well. Yeah, we are all in the in the journey of, of the happiness. Once we choose to live in it, once we choose to be in in the journey itself. It's so true. And it's a beautiful way of, of uh, it's a form of sustainable happiness as well, because if you constantly think that the moment you're living now is the moment yeah. of happiness, then ev- if you do it every day, then it continues to be a sustainable happiness. Right, right. I absolutely, I absolutely agree with you. Thank you so much, Ashraf, for your call all the way from Salala. Much appreciated. Mm, thank you. On the way. Thank you so much, um, you know, I will thank each and every caller after the call because it really means a lot for you to share with me your thoughts, your opinions uh, on this. This show is your show, and I'm so glad to hear that it's an uplifting one, thought-provoking. I am forever touched by your words. Just a reminder that you can um, call me and join in the show as well, just like the others did by calling 24 60 20 58, 24 60 20 58. So the thing um, that I wanted to talk about uh, with regards to sustainable happiness is things that you can do and shouldn't do to ensure that this uh, happiness is sustainable. So one thing is stop comparing yourself to others. This is one of uh, the things that uh, one of the callers mentioned. I unfortunately don't remember his name. And the thing is, as I said, when you compare yourself to others, first of all, the others you're comparing yourself to, you don't really know them. You don't really know what struggles they've been through. You don't really know what kind of life they have. You just see them for a moment and suddenly you just want to be that. But do you really want to be that? You have your life. You can be inspired by them. If you feel, oh, he has something that I want to have, then work towards it. But don't just wish to be them when you are you. You know what I mean? You have so much to offer. You just have to believe in yourself. You have to realize that you have the potential, that you can be anything you want to be. All you have to do is make the choice, set the goals, work towards it. And before you know it, you are there and inshallah better than um, the person you aspire to be. In that journey, uh, I'll say journey of happiness, just like uh, Ashraf said, stop worrying about what other people will think about you, about your thoughts, about how you're living your life. I've always said for me to be able to come up here to say that I am what I am. I am divorced. Um, I had to be happy with myself. 
not happy with myself. I had to be okay with the fact that I am what I am. And I can't let other people's opinions of me stop me from loving myself, stop me from living the life that I want to live. And if I go about, you know, um, concentrating on what people will want or people will think and try to please them, uh, it's going to be an endless headache because I can't please everybody. So the one I choose to please is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then my family. So there comes a time where you just have to let it go. Just let people think what they want to think because they're just thoughts and they're just now just don't let it affect you. Just, you know, in one ear and out the other and life goes on. I was listening to a TED Talk, I believe, by a guy called Edwin Edbiri. I think I pronounced his name correctly. He was saying that you can learn how to be happy. And I thought this was interesting. Although it is kind of, um, it takes a lot of effort because, as you know, it's up to you to live the life you want. And before I go into the the points that he mentioned, I'll just remind you that this is a live show. There are 10 minutes left. So if you have anything that you want to share with me, please do so before time runs out. And you can uh, do so by calling 24 60 20 58, 24 60 20 58. So Mr. Edwin says that you can learn to be happy. How? He says you can do something called the 24 hour promise. And just as it is, it's as simple as it sounds. 24 hours promise. You promise yourself when you wake up in the morning that you are going to be happy for the next 24 hours. And you just do that. You just say, whatever happens, I'm going to be happy. So you're basically saying, I choose happiness. And you basically do that for the next 24 hours. So it's a constant thing in your mind that whatever circumstances happens of course not things that are really tragic or stuff but you're just saying that I'm going to be happy or if uh, somebody cut in front of me in the line um, yes it's uh, he he's jumping the queue she's jumping the queue but you know what it's okay my turn will come so you know something like that although it depends if it's a really long queue then you might want to say something <laughs> so you choose to be happy for the next 24 hours and then when you're off to bed it's the end of the day you renew that promise for the next 24 hours so you keep promising yourself every day that i am going to be happy i am happy and you do that and before you know it it's part of your life it's part of your norm um as i was talking before before the before the show started with frank that we shouldn't allow our past to rob us from our future or our present. So it's always a choice to choose to be happy, to live in the moment, to be present, to appreciate, to be grateful. And there's so many things. If you're going to tell me that, oh, I can't, um, you know, I really don't know how to do this. Well, you haven't tried yet, have you? So all you have to do is try. You owe yourself that much. Then he went on talking about the three minute rule. Life is not always smooth sailing. So you have to be able to you know we all have these emotions and feeling sad feeling angry hungry fear disgust whatever it is this reminds me of okay now i said it now i can't remember inside out the uh, the cartoon the animation if you <clears throat> haven't watched it i th- you can you should watch it it's a bit interesting it kind of talks about this um sustain what's the topic today how to sustain happiness <laughs> Frank is looking like, okay, God, she's lost. May has lost it now. <laughs> so what I meant to say is this, um, these, these emotions that we have, they're, they're normal for us to go through, to experience. But as long as it's not our focus, that this is not all it is. For example, if we're sad, that this sad doesn't become the norm. It's not how we go to sleep at night. It's not how to, how we wake up. It's none of that. You have to learn how to adjust and you have to continue to find what you're grateful for to see that at least you're alive. You can change things. Things can get better because things are only temporary. As I told you earlier, life is temporary. And with that, we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Get ready to be inspired this Ramadan, a show like no other, one that aims to inspire you to live a life 
you love. Love your life. Love your life daily from 2:30 to 3:30 p.m. And will be repeated at 12 midnight. Love your life with our Sayyida May Al Sayyid on your nation station Oman FM. Are you ready to love your life? Join Oman Radio's Big Time Giveaway this Ramadan and win a Lexus GS350 on the last day. It's so easy to join. Just send SMS with your full name to 90465 and be the lucky one to bring home a brand new Lexus GS350. The more you send, the more chances of winning. Oman Radio's Big Time Giveaway this Ramadan. Join now. Love your life. Welcome back to your nation station. This is Maya Al Said, also known as the Soist on Oman FM. If you've been listening from an approximately an hour ago, you know that I've been talking about how to sustain your happiness. We all want to be happy. Um, so I talked about things that uh, we can do. And it's really about changing the way you live your life, your thoughts. And I have only a couple of minutes left. I maybe can take one more caller. So I'll just remind you that this is a live show and you can call me on 2460 2058. 2460 2058. I thank you all for your contributions and this show is nothing without you guys. So um, ending this, oh, just before I end, because uh, I usually end it with a quote. So just before that, something I began doing, which I found uh, brought me great happiness and made me realize how grateful I am uh, to have this life is writing or starting a gratitude journal. So every day um, before I sleep, I'll talk about something that I'm grateful for. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it's something I do and has just given me an insight as to, subhanAllah, we have so much to be happy about, so much to be grateful for, but we tend to focus on the things that we don't have, sadly. So try it. Um, you know, for example, tonight, inshallah, before you go to bed, list what is something you're grateful for. And at the beginning, I thought it was something so difficult because I thought, what, what am I grateful for? What is happy to be about? But if you had asked me to write something negative, I'd say, oh, I didn't get to do blah, blah, blah that I wanted to do. But when you come to do the reverse, to think of what really makes us make me happy, what, what am I grateful for? Um, you find it a bit challenging. So get into the habit and let me know um, how, you, how you go about it. So just to, before I end this uh, enjoyable episode of Pursuit, not Pursuit, of um, how to sustain uh, happiness. I love to end with quotes because I think it's a perfect way to sum up everything that I've been saying with different quotes. So the first one is happiness is not having uh, what you want. It's wanting what you have. So it's not thinking about what you don't have and wanting it. It's realizing, hang on a minute, I do have this and I'm so grateful and I really want this. So you just reverse the, the way you think. And like uh, I think Ashraf, if I remember correctly, said happiness is a journey, not a destination. And I think this is something that both Ashraf uh, and Dr. Mukhtar highlighted that we tend to focus on certain things that we want to achieve. And then once we achieve them, we don't even appreciate having achieved them. We're already thinking, OK, now I have to do something else. And then you don't get to live the moment. You don't get to, achieve, you know, be happy, be proud of what you have done. So focus, you know, focus your life and re re-energize and think, OK, I've accomplished this. I am, alhamdulillah, proud of myself for doing it. So, you know, focus on your happy. That's nice. Focus on your happy. And... Uh, another one is happiness is letting go of what you think your life is and celebrate it for everything that it is. So similar to uh, what I've just said earlier. Nobody is in charge of your happiness except you. Nobody is in charge of your happiness except you. And the last one I'd like to end with is don't look for happiness. Create it. 
Thank you so much for tuning in with me, for sharing your thoughts on Oman FM. This is your show, Love Your Life, and I'm your host, Maya Al Saeed. I look forward to catching up, inshallah, with you tomorrow, where we'll be talking about Be an Inspiration. This is um, from Frank and from myself, wishing you a lovely day. Ma salama. Love your life. Love your life. Love your life. Get ready to be inspired this Ramadan. A show like no other. One that aims to inspire you to live a life you love. Love your life. Love your life daily from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. And will be repeated at 12 midnight. Love your life. With our Sayyidim Maya Al Sayyid. On your nation station, Oman FM. Are you ready to love your life?